Hello everyone. Good morning. Myself Mukta, your science subject teacher. I welcome you all for your next class. Today we are going to start our chapter 2 that is preservation of food. But before we start the chapter, let us recall that what we have learned in our earlier class about food and its nutrient. Food. Food is something that people or animal eat to survive. Food is essential part of our life. it gives us energy and nutrient to grow so we can be healthy and active there are different kind of food each food contain different substance these substance are called nutrients nutrients are the substance that provide us energy for activity growth and all function of the body such as breathing digestion and many other function these nutrient also help for growth and repair the body and keep our immune system healthy The energy we get from the food is measured in calories. For example, one gram of sugar has more calorie than one gram of vegetable. To some extent, we can change our food requirement according to the calorie we need. An athlete or a long distance runner need more calorie than a normal person. Now let us see the three food groups. first one is body building food second one is protective food and third one is energy giving food in this protective food are also divided into two group vitamins and minerals vitamins are two type water soluble vitamin and fat soluble vitamin and minerals are macro minerals and micro minerals now let us see the nutrients in this table carbohydrate carbohydrate are energy giving food The source of the carbohydrates are rice, potato, wheat, sugar, and the function of the carbohydrate is to provide energy. Fat, fat are and also energy giving food. The source of the fat is butter, ghee, milk, and cheese. The function of the fat is to give more energy to compare carbohydrate. Third one is vitamin and minerals. That is known as protective food. The source of vitamins and minerals are fruits and vegetable, and the function of vitamins and minerals. to require for the normal growth and development fourth one is protein protein is known as body building food the source of the protein is milk milk egg meat fish and soya bean the function of the protein is helping in the building and repair in the repair of the body now let us see the first group that is carbohydrate carbohydrate give energy to our body food item like milk and its product potato bread idli sugar contain carbohydrate food item rich in carbohydrate are known as energy giving food people who do a lot of physical work like labor and farmer should consume food rich in carbohydrate carbohydrates are of two type the two type of carbohydrate are complex carbohydrate and simple carbohydrate now complex carbohydrate complex carbohydrate is called as starch complex carbohydrate take much longer time to break into simple form complex carbohydrate are digest more slowly than simple carbohydrate complex carbohydrate provide vitamins minerals and fiber food such as bread legume rice pasta starch vegetable contain the complex carbohydrate next one is simple carbohydrate simple carbohydrate are known as simple sugar it is found in food such as fruit milk and vegetable cake candies and other refined sugar products are simple sugar which also provide energy but lack of vitamins and minerals and fiber glucose are also the simple carbohydrate glucose is the basic source of energy for all living thing now let us see the health benefit of carbohydrate you can see all the health benefit of the carbohydrate i mean given picture that are as follow next is fat fat are the second nutrients of energy giving food fat give us more energy than carbohydrate they also keep our body warm food item like oil ghee butter nuts are rich in fat food item rich in fat are known as energy giving food our body need very little fat extra fat is stored in our body for future use now let us see the body building food body building food is called as protein the protein word come from the word that is proteinous 
which is the Greek word which means primary. Protein help us to grow. They also build the muscles and repair the damaged part of our body. Food items like milk, egg, fish, curd and pulses contain protein. Food items rich in protein are known as bodybuilding food. Growing children need more protein because they are still growing. Next is protective food. Food items rich in vitamins and minerals called as protective food. They are two types, vitamins and minerals. First one is vitamin. Vitamin is a chemical compound that need in small amount for human body to work correctly. Vitamins are two types. The two types of vitamins are fat soluble vitamin and water soluble vitamin. Now let us see the fat soluble vitamin. Vitamin like A, D, E and K which can be stored in our body. Fat soluble vitamin will not be lost when the food that they contain them are cooked. These vitamins are not required every day so they are stored in liver. Next is water soluble vitamin. Water soluble vitamin are B and C. Vitamin which dissolve in water are known as water soluble vitamin. These vitamin cannot be stored in our body. They are found in plant and animal and they must taken daily. Next is mineral. Minerals are also as protective food. Our body requires small amount of minerals like calcium, sodium and iron etc. Let us see the some example of mineral. Some examples of minerals are calcium and iron. Calcium make our bone and teeth strong. It also help in blood to clot. Calcium found in milk, dairy products and green vegetable. Second one is iron rich food. Iron rich food help in formation of blood in body. It also increase the hemoglobin and prevent from anemia. Iron found in pumpkin, seed, tomato, red meat, fish and more green vegetable. Next is roughage and water. Roughage is the fiber that present in our food. It cannot be digested by our body. But it helps to remove the undigested food from our body. Roughage is important for proper functioning of our digestive system. Second one is water. Water is the essential for our body to stay healthy and function properly. Water also helps in digestion of food. Therefore, we must drink 8 to 6 glass of water every day. Next is balanced diet. What is the balanced diet? A food which contains all the essential nutrients in correct amount is called balanced diet. A balanced diet is necessary for proper growth and development of body. Balanced diet contains all the nutrients, water and roughage in it. It is needed for everyone. Now we are moving to our last topic of the class that is food preservation. What is the food preservation and what do you understand by it? Food preservation is the process by which edible items such as fruit, vegetable and food we eat are prevent from getting spoiled. These are there are several methods of food preservation that we will continue in next class. Thank you.